Hey guys, what is up? And welcome back to another one of my videos. Today we have a very, 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 very special video. Today is the day Mumford gets to finally come home. I bought Mumford way back in May and to finally be in October and to My dogs can't leave me alone. <laughs> Apologies for the bad lighting right now. It's currently 8.35 in the morning. I got a message at 6 that they were leaving and Mumford was on his way. So had a bit of an early start to my morning. I have a couple of things to do around the house, but for now, I am just patiently waiting for the message that they are an hour away. But I thought to bypass some time, I would go through like a little tack haul for you guys. I bought a grooming kit for Mumford and I was also gifted some items for him, which is pretty awesome. So why don't I just go through that stuff right now for you guys. So. I'm going to start off by showing the tack box that I- tack box? Excuse me? Wow, it's too early in the morning. What brand it is? There's no brand name on it. So I can't quite remember the brand name as it's literally nowhere in sight, but so we have this nice like midnight blue with silver and on inside pretty spacious box which is nice knowing me I probably went a little overboard with brushes but whatever I'm not mad so next I went ahead and bought Two pairs of new riding pants. These are the Redline Sport Label Edition. And I got it in a beautiful, like, emerald green color. It's kind of really hard to tell right now because the lighting is really bad. And it has little leg grippies in the middle. And then I also got it in a nice beige color. So for my next item, it was actually a gift from my parents to say congratulations on getting your first mule. And let me tell you, I cried because <laughs> I was not expecting it to get these items. They bought me a maroon halter that I saw at Greenhawk. And it also comes with its matchy new lead rope. Now, I know this is not going to fit him right now because it is a cob size. But I'm hoping when he gets older, he'll fit it properly. And next, they actually bought me, I'm wearing it now, matching little halter bracelets. And it has his name on it, Mumford's name. I'm just in love with this bracelet. It's a beautiful black and brown, nice gold. If you can't tell, my favorite color is gold. <laughs> So these two items were a gift from my parents, so thank you so much, mom and dad. <laughs> so next, I was actually gifted a beautiful navy white and burgundy saddle pad from one of my friends at the stables. This is my first ever saddle pad I've ever owned, so it's very special to me now. <laughs> but that is all that I've gotten so far for Mumford. I am going to go quickly grab something to eat and then I actually have to clean my guinea pig's cage out today so I'm gonna do that before I leave because I'm probably gonna be at the barn until dinner time because I'm not gonna want to leave his side once he gets there. Let's go clean my guinea pig.
So as you just saw, I finished cleaning my guinea pig's cage and now I play the most painful part, the waiting game. <laughs> I will now sit and wait patiently, patiently for the text message that they're an hour away. It is currently 10.33 and I just got the message that he's an hour out. So I'm gonna head to my car and pack my stuff, get something to eat, and then I'm gonna head to the barn. I'm so excited! <laughs> Look at you! Look how you lift your feet, you're so pretty. <laughs> well, guys, here he is! Finally home! I couldn't take too much video of him offloading just because there was a lot going on. <laughs> but I'm so glad he's finally here. And of course, Canadian weather has to make it snow, but he's liking it. He's not stressed at all, which is very good. Just enjoying some hay I threw in though. Hi guys. I am editing this video November 29th. And there was a lot that happened after taking the last shot that you just saw. Where do I even begin? Um, my offloading day for Mumford did not go as easily and as smoothly as I planned it would. Long story short, I planned for Mumford to be in an isolation paddock for a week so he could get used to the new barn, his new surroundings, new friends, and bond to me. But he definitely had other plans. I'm glad I was on the property when it happened. But while I was helping the barn manager out with the horses, because the vet was there to do the annual horse check with everyone. I was leading a horse into the arena to get shots done, I believe. And out of nowhere, I hear in the background, hey, your mule escaped. <laughs> so of course I whip my head around and there Mumford is. He like is beelining it right towards me. Uh, it's, it's crazy what you don't get on video, to be honest. He actually ran straight for me. He wanted to say hello to the horse I was leading, so thank God he didn't just beeline it off the property. Not that he could, because where he was placed, there was a lot of property around him, so he wasn't close to any roads or anything. But he escaped. <laughs> so that's why in the next clip you're going to see him in another pen 
we were just so busy with the vet at the moment that we couldn't deal with him right on the spot. So he was placed into a timeout paddock and we placed him beside other horses in hopes that maybe that's what he wanted. He just wanted to have some friends. He wanted to be beside other horses. So we hoped that worked. Man, were we wrong. <laughs> If you can't tell by me coming in now, Mumford escaped for the second time. Um, again, I wish I got it on film, but he did not only escape once, but he escaped twice in one day. <laughs> when I tell you that his first day at the barn was not so good, I really mean it. <laughs> he has earned the nickname Houdini now because of it. Just as I was coming out to grab him because the barn manager and I decided it would be best to just put him into the original spot that we had planned for him, he was already out of his timeout paddock and he was running straight for the mares. You could say it was a very eventful day. <laughs> so the next clip you're gonna see is us integrating Mumford into the originally planned pasture that we'd had for him. <laughs> that <was> super. <laughs> Move out of the way. That was a bit over here. Oh, she looks a bit scared maybe. Oh, it's a mule. Why does it Look smell so Why are you following me? <laughs> I don't want Mommy, help. Me. Are you in charge? <laughs> oh, he's doing the old dumb thing that she was doing. Yeah. Like, don't hurt me, I'm a baby. It's like, hello? Hello? You asked for this, so you got it. <laughs> Submissive is good. Yes. Not in the fence. Not in the fence. Girl. No, dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, help. I'm Mommy. not gonna help you. I'm sorry, but <laughs> we're gonna shoot a bigger. Brody. Brody. Brody, get. Hey. Brody were the ones that were the meanest to her. Mm. I watched Brody pin his ears and literally gallop and chase her all the way past the hay Oh my bale. god. But she's been okay with him lately. And that is the last clip I have from that day. So that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. I apologize again for getting this video out so late, but it's been a hectic month. <laughs> Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, do all that fun stuff so I know that you want to keep seeing my videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!